Maybe quietly put them under your feet. Well, good morning once again, church family. Um, I am not Pastor Mike, but he asked if um, the children's church group and I would share something with you this morning. So I started thinking about a lot of the activities we've been doing during children's church, and I thought we could share some of the characteristics we've been talking about. Um, But I wanted to just start with a word of prayer, if we could close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I just ask that you be with me and that you will speak through me and give the congregation something that you would like for them to hear today from your word. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So, um, I was trying to think of a Bible story that talked about these traits, being kind. Does anybody know, especially you kids, a story about a guy who was thrown into a lion's den? Who was it? Daniel. Who? Daniel. Daniel. And what else did Daniel have to do? Was there something about him praying by a window? What did he do? He what? He prayed every day and got in trouble. I like how you put that. And something else happened that had to do with um, fire and three friends. Anybody remember that story? Anyone else besides these kids? Anyone out there remember Shadrach and a bingo card? Shadrach? Yes. So I got to thinking about Daniel and how he lived his life. So did he live his life obeying and loving God? I just wanted to share with you all something about Daniel's life and these characteristics because Daniel didn't do these things because he was afraid of getting into trouble, right? He did all these things because he loved God and he wanted to obey God, right? So I wanted to appeal to you all as a church family that how can we help our kids, our future church members, to love God and to obey God? Um, A little bit later, I wanted to give you all a little special gift. Actually, I have a lot of gifts because I just think gifts are fun, right? Um, One little gift I have is I'm going to be passing out a little magnet heart. And I don't know if they came into the church or not. But I'm going to need about four helpers. And I would like for everybody to take one, as many as we have. And I've just printed out the name of all of the kids in our church that I know of. And church families, you go about your week and you pray and you um, have your worship time. I would just ask that you would pray for each, for the child that you've taken. You can put this magnet on your refrigerator and it has a name, for instance, like Michael or Jacob or Andrew. And maybe you'll just pray for that boy and just pray that God will be with them in the coming weeks. And it should have everybody's name of of the kids in our church. And I would just ask that you would pray for them as you go out through your, um, your prayer life this week. So if I, if I could have a couple of helpers, maybe hand those out. That would be great. I have four heart baskets. You want to help them out? Jody, thank you. So we should, I think right now we have over 50 kids in our church. So there should be 50 heart magnets that you can pass out and pray for this week. Um, Our church here at Santa Clarita has really made a commitment to Christian education in different ways. Um, One of the things that we've done is we've provided Sabbath school classes that are age appropriate for your kids. We've done programming like Adventures and Pathfinders that provide um, just more biblical training for the children of the church. But I just want to appeal to all of you as a congregation that when you see these kids in Sabbath school and in church, that you will just um, just try to spread the light of Jesus as you talk to them and interact with them. Um, as parents, I wanted to gift you with something special that I grew up with, and I don't know if those made it in here, but it was a little blue book, and it was called My Bible Friends. Does anybody know that hard book cover that was blue. It's a very old, old set of books. Anybody have those books in their um, library? Um, Those are especially close to my heart because I grew up listening to the Bible stories and learning about them. 
through these My Bible Friend books. And if you happen to have a hard copy of them, they are, um, they're pretty old, but when, when we think about Daniel in the lion's den or the stories of uh, Noah's Ark, for me, I just I picture this old ark, this picture that's in these books. And I just have enough, actually, of the little books for the families that have children. So um, this is just another opportunity that I wanted to give you as just one per family that have children as part of a supplement to your family devotions, or maybe if you've never done those before, maybe you could add them in as part of your children's nighttime reading as just a quick little reference book as to some of our Bible stories. Thanks, kids. You guys are big helpers. So these books personally mean something to me because my dad was a bookbinder. If any of you have heard of the Pacific Press, has anyone heard of that Pacific Press bindery? It used to be located in Mountain View, California, and my dad was the one that used to bind all the books. So. I grew up looking at these books and seeing them, having them read to me by my mom, my grandma, and they're very special to me. So if you have a set of those books, hardbound books, and maybe you don't want them in your library or you want to loan them out to one of our families with young children, um, that would be such a great opportunity to spread your, your um, Bible stories with some of the kids that are growing up and have never seen these books or heard the stories. Um, I also wanted to ask you, church family, just to um, keep in mind that our church is a Santa Clarita Seventh-day Adventist church. We have made a commitment to, um, to the kids of this church. Um, we don't have a lot of kids that are in our Adventist schools at the moment, but we do have a lot of awesome kids, a lot of great kids, three of which are mine. And um, I just ask that you would support them in whatever activities they decide to do, whether it be music or sports or whatever extracurricular activities that they do. And I just ask that you support them in um, you know, bringing them to Sabbath school classes so that they can have the opportunity to learn about our, our, um, about our Bible stories and about learning about the love of Jesus. And. Um, I just want to impart on you that you'll teach these fruits of the spirits and that you'll be a light to the kids when you see them going around in their Sabbath school classes, um, taking part in our different programs. You'll just be reminded that these are the kids that we want to teach the love of Jesus and that we want to teach them the fruits of the spirits and how we can be more like Christ in being lo loving and kind and having self-control and um, just having a goodness within us. I also want to remind you all that we have special programs for everyone at our church, the kids, the kids with special needs, the younger kids, infants, and we just really um, work really hard to make this church a place that's welcoming for everybody, for all kids of all ages, and um, just really um, focus a lot on the families of our church. So. Um, in closing, I just wanted to re just to um, remind you all that the whole reason that that the church has asked me to help out with the kids and all of that is just for one simple basic reason. What do you think that reason is? Because I'm really good at cutting out felts or working with hot glue guns. What do you think that is? Well, it's because, what's that? We all want to be in heaven together, right? We want to be in heaven side by side with our families, all of us. We, want to, we don't want to leave anybody out. And the only way to do that is to know who Jesus is. And the only way to do that is to teach our kids who Jesus is, right? So that one day, just one simple goal of this church, of this family, of this congregation, is to just impart on the kids who Jesus is and that he loves them. And the way that we can show that we love Jesus is by obeying his commandments and just being more like in his likeness every day. So I'm gonna um, close with prayer, but I wanna ask that we um, join in a song also from VBS called Soon and Very Soon that some of you may have heard before. And Naomi's gonna come on up with a few of the girls.